Yep. You see it right. Huh. You probably wonder, how can that be? Man, does it make you wonder? One? All for one car, one, one log car. I don't know, to me it just blows my mind. I mean, I understand the freight has to go, but man, all for one. Yeah, it's a little extreme to be chasing a train south in Wisconsin with just one log car, but it does make one person curious as to uh, what is so important to send itself. I'm also curious to know maybe they're maybe they're uh, switching in Pembine and I can expect the train back this afternoon. That's that's actually what I'm curious about. There's only one way to find out. That's to go to Pembine and see. So that is where we're going. I don't think it's made here yet. We should be alright. Might be close though. It's only one car. Personally, I, I can't believe they haven't fixed it yet. What is it, three years now? <laughs> three years. Yeah, we're waiting at my favorite crossing for one car coming south. While it's a nice sound, rain falling, Probably not a good sound for me. Considering I'm standing out in it. Waiting on this southbound train with one car. We're going to take a ride down to Pembine. Just curious to see if there's another train down there they're going to switch with. Or is it going straight south? Onto Crivets. I'm not we got to find out if the train is. Oh yeah, as long as it doesn't rain too hard, I guess it'll be all right. Onward to Pembine, Wisconsin. It's not very often you see them running, uh, you know, just the engine or just one load. It does happen though. I mean, yesterday there was uh, seven cars that went south all the way to Crivets, from what I understand. And then later in the evening, four cars came back. Just, uh, never know. You never know. Anyway, let's go down to Pembine and uh, see if they're going to swap some cars around and head back north. Or are they 
they going to keep going south with just one car until... Stick around and find out. This is the main wood yard here in Pembine. There are no uh, load cars quite yet. And no train yet either. Although I expect it here any time now. Well, there is no train down there waiting for them. There's no cars ready to take here. And there's no fret on the back either, so. Huh. Like I said, you just got the one. There's no cars here either to grab. He's just heading south. Sitting right on Highway 8, just in time. Probably guessing already, aren't you? If you look on your Google Maps, I'm in Beecher, Wisconsin, just west of Highway 141 at that junction. That's music to my ears. I heard it. Five miles an hour. I'm not sure if I'll catch up to him. Just ripping, ain't he? Catching them. Paul Bergen of Wisconsin, Todd Cripps of Michigan, Bob Kernoodle of Tennessee, and Stephen Taylor of Michigan. Thank you, gents, for that kind donation. And if anybody else is interested, there is a link below for any donations you 
might want to send 30 miles an hour. What a beautiful sight though, huh? Escanaba Lakesfield Railroad 501. Heading south. All for one. Again, thanks a lot everybody. This is your Tuesday video. Man, if I can get out videos every single day of this train, that'd be kind of cool. It's not every day I have the car and I'm available to, you know, chase after it, but uh, when I have the car and I'm available to chase after it, whether it's going north or south, you can expect me to put a video out. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm telling you, I'm looking at my stats and it's still only about 20% of you who are watching this video right now are actual subscribers. The rest of you, I don't know why you haven't hit the button. Why haven't you hit the button? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button because that always helps. And it doesn't matter if you hit thumbs down, that helps too. Although it makes me wonder who's, you know, coming down. but. Hit the share button, that always helps. And uh, make a comment below. Is it worth me chasing this train for one car? You know, all for one? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Man, rain. Who called for rain?